You've been working on some interesting projects re recently. Uh, you've blogged about the little green computer. That's right. Um, you've got some stuff over here to show me. That's right. What I do. do I do. Well, I have the little green computer here. It's a green machine, um, which is a very cute little computer. It's uh, made by the OLPC project, One Laptop Per Child. They have constructed um, um, a machine which is very inexpensive. The target price is $100. Uh, for the whole thing, and this is a you know a fully functional laptop computer. It's even a tablet computer um, that you can you know switch into sort of ebook mode. It's got a handle, it's got a screen, it's got speakers, it's got a um, microphone, um, it's got USB ports on both sides even. It's got Wi-Fi. Here's the uh, the antenna. Uh, cool antennas. Yeah, they look like rabbit ears. <laughs> Um, it's got a keyboard, although the keyboard isn't very good for, for you know, a, a normal adult Western hand will, will not like this mm -hmm. keyboard. You told me before off camera that this is the only version of this computer, or the only, the only model of this computer available in Europe. I right think now. it is. I haven't heard of anyone else having it. So this why, is the, why is this here? Well, this is the first batch of prototypes. Uh, it's still very, very early in the production phase. And they've sent us um, a computer, they sent us a prototype for us to test to see if, if Opera runs well here. And as you can see, if you can see the screen I can here. see slash dot. Yeah, I see, I see this is slash dot being shown on, on the machine. And you also see a skin of Opera at the top here, where we try to, um, to code the skin according to the UI guidelines for the machine, so that it, it looks like Opera really fits in, in, mm -hmm. in, in this uh, machine, and it does. Opera is almost perfect for this machine. This is a machine which has a 400 megahertz uh, processor. It has um, 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, it doesn't have a hard drive. It has a flash, um, half gigabyte of flash. So it's a very constrained environment where you have to be uh, lean and mean. Um, and Opera is small enough to fit in here. Opera runs well in this environment. Hmm. Um, what were the challenges for, for porting Opera to this machine? None, none really. <laughs> it, it almost worked out of the box. We could take a normal desktop build. Um, you know, on modern machines, if you buy a high-powered modern PC, you don't really notice the difference in speed with, between Opera and other, other browsers. Not so much, at least. But if you, if you come on a machine like this, and this is going to go out to millions and millions of, of school children in the third world. Here it really makes a difference. Here really Opera uh, uh, takes better, makes better use of the constrained uh, resources that are available on this computer. Will Opera come pre-installed? Uh, they have an open source policy um, in the project. So we're not probably going to be there by default. Um, however, the governments that are buying these uh, computers, they may want to, to put on different kinds of, of software. And we've had, um, we've been approached by one country at least, um, that, that are interested in using Opera for this, uh, for this machine. That's the mm -hmm. great thing. You know, in, on, on Windows, we had to convince every single user to download and install Opera. Here we can t talk to governments, you know, with millions of, mm -hmm. of users. So I see you've got tabs on the bottom over there. Yeah, that's right. Tabs on the, uh, the bottom. I have several pages. I can try Let's to see take it. a look. Let's see if we can switch between the, a few of them. Um, see, that's the BBC. Switched, switched from, um, from uh, CNN here, sorry, from Slashdot to, to BBC. And I think I have a, a CNN page here as well. Oh, and then we've got CNN. So, it, it, it's pretty cool. The screen is very impressive. It's a 200 dpi uh, color screen. It also has a black and white mode for use in sunlight, which is also very cool. Um, the thing is, they, they really want to keep the power consumption down on this machine, so they, they, you can turn off the backlit and, and thereby save power. And the power supply um, is also going to be based on a crank or a... Or a some kind of mechanical device to generate power as you go along. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, you don't always have sockets in, in, in the places where this uh, machine is going to be mm -hmm. used. It's also you know, constructed to be water resistant and um, generally hold up, hold up well. I think five years is the, the target um, time for a computer to last in a rough environment.